Hello Internet, and welcome back to a very special episode of EGT, where we're going to be covering E3 along with our regular show. So sit back, get your popcorn, the shit show is about to start. Let's start with EA Games Challenge Everything. I'm only vaguely sure that EA's first game is called Men Longshot. It has a story, apparently. The trailer didn't really hold my interests. Battlefield 1, in the name of the Tsar, is a new DLC thingy that lets you play as a Russian's woman battalion of death. Well, sign me right the fuck up. That actually sounds kind of cool. There's something that EA really wants to remind us of. Esports are apparently really important. What? You don't think they're important? Are you some kind of commie pingo bastard? <clears throat> Moving on. FIFA 18, it certainly is a video game. Need for speed payback. Sorry, no refunds. A way out. It's a co-op two-player prison game that really brings back some memories. Anthem is a Bioware RPG. It looks like Halo. Cool. NBA Live 18, oh boy, another fucking sports game. I'm so excited. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a game where Spock and Chewbacca fight the Cylons to stop Soylent Green from turning the Pirates of the Caribbean into Skeksis. No. That's not even close. Alright, you got me. It's a Star Wars game, and unlike its predecessor, it has a campaign mode. Immediately after they announced this, Stormtroopers flooded the stage and showed the audience way too much footage of those evil bastards. Now on to Microsoft. They talked about the Xbox One X specs. Teraflops don't exist, I roll it to disbelieve. The Xbox One X is smutty like a little bab. Forza, proving once again that nobody can model rocks that look even slightly good. There were 42 games. That many. At uh, the Microsoft conference. That was uh, more than we can talk about in this segment. Bethesda came out of the gates packing punches with Doom VFR and Fallout 4 VR. I only really care about Doom because it looked like a huge, amazing, bloody mess. The Fallout 4 was just like, hey, you get to play Fallout 4? I don't know, I'll probably get them both. Anyway, most of their conference was taken up by Elder Scrolls Legends and paid mods. Uh, I don't even know anybody who knows what Elder Scrolls Legends is. So we're going to just talk about the paid mods. And if you have a problem with it, it's trust me, it's better this way because now you'll get PC mods like full conversion mods, which are an entirely different game. But if you just want to keep flailing around your lightsaber, keep you keep on trucking and have the other people pay for it. Dishonored is getting a sequel, which uh, I liked the first Dishonored, but I let someone borrow my copy and then I never finished it after he gave it back. So maybe we'll be seeing some sort of a stream. Who knows? Evil Within 2 was announced and I, I didn't realize it was Evil Within whenever I was watching the trailer because it looks just just enough difference. At least there's a survival horror game coming out on Friday the 13th this year. Now lastly, they saved the best for last because obviously that's how you do it. Wolfenstein 2. Now if you haven't seen the trailer for it, it's going to be linked somewhere or it's not. I'm lazy. Uh, it looks like the first Wolfenstein. If you, if you took it and just like shoved it in cocaine, like a whole pile of cocaine. I only have half a key, I had to give the other half to the Sandman. Uh, <laughs> Devolver Digital had a conference too. Now I could talk about Devolver Digital's press conference for the length of their 30 minute press conference, but instead I'm just gonna let you guys go see it, cause there's shit like, just go see it. As much as I wish to say that Ubisoft's press conference was a glitchy mess, it actually wasn't half bad. I've been telling people for months that we need more pirate games, and Ubisoft actually delivered. Now, uh, you get to play as a whole pirate ship, and you get to take over the seven seas. 
well, one of them. The other six are $19.99 a piece. Ubisoft took a, took a little bit of a blow and took one for the team as the only conference that had any cringe whenever they announced Just Dance 2018. Now, does anybody even still play those games? Does it really matter? Uh, they did announce a new Assassin's Creed game, which has departed from the series, to say the least. <laughs> it's more of an RPG now, which is a bit odd that you can only kill, like, level enemies that you are, and also there was an arrow that... Flot? Spirit? Arrow? Who knows? I don't know. Does anybody know what Ubisoft, it, like, is going through there? They're also now Far Cry 5. It looks like a Far Cry game. It plays like a Far Cry game. There isn't much to say here. You know you're going to be getting it. Now, there are also some, uh, generic games that just, I, I already don't remember their names and I just wrote the script like an hour ago. Now, one of them was made by Elijah Wood. It's a psychological horror game. And it, uh, they want you to be so fucked up by the actual horror and the psychological parts that you're going to need a shrink after you take off your VR headset because the problems aren't going to go away. Now, that sounds perfectly fine. Sign me up. The other one was less cool. It was uh, Space Shoot the Game, and last time I got excited about Space Shoot the Game, it was No Man's Sky, so I'm gonna pass. Not to mention that they are peripheral based, just like that Lego game that failed. Or the Spyro game that failed. But I'm sure this one's gonna be a hit! So, they also had the crew too, which is, you know, it has cars, you drive them. Good times. But I know what you all want to know about. You all want to hear Beyond Good and Evil 2 news. Well, guess what? I don't have any. Uh, all they showed was the trailer. So we don't have anything else. I would have appreciated gameplay or, you know, any anything, really. <laughs> but you know what? Ubisoft does good. They made Rabbids with Mario, so... Now, back to Quinn with the Sony conference. S the Sony press conference, uh, the Sony conference was pretty okay. This type of thing isn't my cup of tea. But then again, you can never be sure what's in my cup of tea. They opened with the PS View Gives a Shit, just another way to watch TV on your PlayStation. Not a strong start for a game-centric conference. Then, there was the Sony Days of Play, whatever that is. Something to do with PS4, uh, something to do with a gold PS4. That's right. After the video reel was over, they played sitar music with a fancy waterfall background. This segued into a video... Uh, this segued into Uncharted. Nathan Drake isn't in it. This time, you play as a woman who is probably named Claire, because that seems to be the video game industry's favorite name these days. Then came the announcement for Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, We've come to the point where companies announced DLC at E3. Then, a uh, moth flew into my room and started dry humping my computer screen for like half an hour. It's fine. Have all the light you need. Not like I have to do work or anything. Fucking moths. Sorry, I got sidetracked there for a minute. Anyway, Days Gone is a zombie game that I legit thought was a sequel to The Last of Us until they showed footage of what the zombies look like. Also, zombie bear. Monster Hunter World looks like a game that was made for home consoles as opposed to a T-Mobile sidekick. They're remaking Shadow of the Colossus. Moving on. Marvel vs. Capcom looks like a comic book plotline in a video game form. So all in all, it's pretty much what you'd expect. Let's just hope they leave Pink Krypton out of the equation. Call of Duty World War World War Two is a military shooter, so you don't so I don't have much to say about it. Skyrim VR, aka Beating a Dead Sweet Roll Episode 420, is coming to PS4 and it will finally let me roleplay as Rayman. Just what I always wanted. I had to Google Star Child because I forgot what it was. Uh, it appears to be a VR side scroller, okay. Impatient is a VR game that oh it's the Impatient. 
Whatever, I don't have time for this shit. Final Fantasy Monsters of the Deep. It's a fishing game. You can't make this shit up. Bravo Team is VR of duty. Moss is the closest we'll ever get to a Secret of Nim video game. It's and it's VR, like every game at E3. They're making a new God of War. Say God of War enough, and it and you're basically saying God of War. Detroit Become Human is a David Cage game. Yep. Yeah. Destiny 2 is the second game in the Destiny series. I'm not going to talk about Spider-Man's new game because that Webby bastard owes me $500. $500! Well, I guess that was the Sony conference. Nintendo had the best conference of E3 by far. They started off announcing games are coming out in 2018, which is Kirby. Uh, it looks like the good Kirby game, Super Crystal Warrior... Whatever it is, the one for the N64 that everybody loves. It allows you to combine multiple powers, which is awesome. They also announced a new Yoshi game, which is awesome. It has the aesthetic of Worldly World with perspective puzzles that made my brain hurt. So instead of talking about them, we're going to move on to what's coming out this year. We have Rocket League, which gives you hats on your cars. There's also arms, which already came out. But Pokemon Tournament's cool, so we got that going for us. On top of that, we have a partnership with EA, which is pretty cool. It allows us to, uh, to play soccer in our houses, on our couch, like it was intended to. There's another partnership, the one that you actually wanted me to get around to, which is the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle partnership with Ubisoft because Ubisoft makes good games. I want to I want to hate I want to hate Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. But it looks good. <laughs> you got Mario Rabbits and the gameplay styles XCOM. Damn you Nintendo for making good games. Xenoblade Chronicles had a pretty cool uh, teaser trailer. It looks a lot like Fire Emblem Warriors. At least what I thought Fire Emblem Warriors would look like. Fire Emblem Warriors looked pretty cool. It looks a lot like Hyrule Warriors. And Breath of the Wild is getting its first DLC on June 30th. But more on that in just a minute. Now, I know everyone's played Skyrim. But Skyrim for the Switch lets you have the Master Sword. So fuck all those other ones. It's so much better. Now, I, I know my wallet... My wallet's not ready either. And we have a Steam sale coming out. So I'm going to be very poor. <sighs> Mario Odyssey, guys. October, guys. Looks like, uh... Gonna be the best Mario game, guys. We also got two Metroid games. Well, one Metroid game, which is a remake uh, for the 3DS. And uh, speaking of the 3DS, we're also getting Pokemon Stars. People were saying that it was coming to the Switch, but they're idiots. It is not. Nintendo uh, said that that was a clerical error. Uh, the other Metroid game that everyone's super hyped about is Metroid Prime 4, but there was only like a GIF. There wasn't even a teaser trailer. People are so easily entertained these days. Well, that was E3. Welcome to the good, the bad, and the weird, where we talk about the good, the bad, and the weird. I don't know what you were expecting. Good news is Diablo 2 may be getting a remaster. This is coming from Blizzard's uh, StarCraft remaster and their fact that they are hiring new employees. Hitman is on rocky shores right now with its developer separating from Square Enix, but it's getting a port to Mac on June 20th. The modder Abject, who we have talked about before, who made Shovel Souls, is making another mod called Doom Souls. I didn't know I needed that in my life, but now I do. Now, lastly, we got Brutal Legend 2. Tim Schafer 
confirmed that he thought about it. So there's that. How are the bad news? Rockstar Games, they have given the gamers the freedom to do whatever they want since the first GTA. But now it seems they're trying to take freedom away from the modders. They recently took down Open 4, one of the main tools for modders of GTA 4 and 5. It's a bloody mess. And it looks like it's not getting any better until the issue of malicious mods can be resolved. <clears throat> Mega Man Legacy 2! It's just like Mega Man Legacy 1! Bethesda has confirmed that Elder Scrolls 6 is not in development. But who needs Elder Scrolls 6 when you have Skyrim fucking VR? Claire Redfield's voice actress has been replaced with a fucking scab. This is why I hate rat operations. The developer of the upcoming indie game last night has gotten into some trouble on Twitter here lately. It's all political and I'd rather not get too deep into it. The weird. Bronson Tran, the Tekken 7 championship at this year's E3, turned down his reward, which was a T-Mobile phone, phone and service plan. I wouldn't want that either. That's kind of a weird-ass prize. And on to Indie Showcase. Welcome back to Indie Showcase. We haven't had this show in a couple of weeks, but we have three titles to talk about. The first one is Gore Script, which is a throwback to old-school FPSs with 18 levels and action gory mess for 10 bucks? You gotta go ahead and get that. It's gonna have me running in and dying over and over again. It's going to be great. Do you want to die? Do, do you? If so, Indus and I will have you dying over and over again as it is a Super Meat Boy-esque game. Now, it's probably going to kill you a few times and then just one more for good measure. Observer is a game that looks like a cyberpunk psychological tour thing. I don't know, it doesn't have a release de date, and there isn't much information on it, but it's supposed to be coming out sometime this quarter. So that's cool, and when there's more information, I will spew it out of my mouth. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the devs for Gorescript gave me a key, so maybe you'll see it. Who knows? Welcome to DLC Watch. There are a few DLCs coming out very soon, one of them being the new Zombies Chronicles. Yay! Leave it to Treyarch to sell you all of the maps that you've already paid for for $30, and it doesn't count if you bought the season pass, and it's not a standalone game. <sighs> Treyarch's the worst. You know it's not the worst? There's a new ARMS DLC. What? That game's only been out a week. Yeah, no, there's a new ARMS DLC. Uh, we get Max Brass, who is the fighting champion in the ARMS universe. And a matter of fact, his arms are made of his championship belts. He has a special ability that whenever he gets to below a quarter health, he will be able to have fully charged arms the whole time, like Springman. He also has an ability to... Uh, Prevent damage if he does something. I don't know, I haven't played ARMS yet, but I want to. Now, onward, we got Breath of the Wilds DLC, which is coming out on June 30th. I told you we'd talk about it again. It, it has some stuff, but we've already talked about it, so let's give you the quick rundown. There's a hard difficulty, which is hard. There's a trial of the sword, which powers up your master shield. Nope, it's a master sword. See, this is what happens whenever you try to go by really fast because your camera is dying. Now, there is also uh, some aesthetic stuff and a, uh, your map, there's a map augment, I don't remember what it's called, but it allows you to track where you've moved up to 200 hours worth of gameplay. So there'll be a line wherever you travel and it'll exist, like the end point is 200, that's a lot of hours of gameplay. Now, the last thing, is the Traveler's Medallion, which will allow you to make a waypoint wherever you go, which is pretty freaking cool, because there's not very many fast travel points in that game. Game suggestions! Let's find out the games! I suggest that you should definitely find yourself a copy of Astro Warrior for the Sega Master System, because that game will kick your ass, but you'll have fun the whole time. Speaking of kicking ass, 
If you're wanting a game that's a lot like Punch-Out, but on steroids, go check out ARMS. It came out this week, and you can go thank me later. Hello, and welcome back to Coming Soon. We haven't had this episode in weeks. It's almost like there was nothing worthy coming. Uh, you know what, it doesn't matter. Resident Evil Vendetta is a new Resident Evil animated movie. What, you thought they were going to stop making movies after the last chapter? <laughs> Uh, Capcom has never been one to sell out, now have they? This one stars uh, Chris Redfield, Rebecca Chambers, and Leon S. Kennedy in a zombie shoot, shooting the zombies, and then they're gonna almost die or something, and then there's gonna be a big zombie that almost kills them, and then everything's gonna be fine because it's a movie. There's a Transformers movie coming out, The Last Prince or some stupid, who cares? You're going to watch a Michael Bay movie for the explosions and the robots. I mean, I don't know how Michael Bay got out of his cage and found a camera, but you know what? Let him make his movies. Dead by Daylight is coming to consoles. If you haven't seen Dead by Daylight, I don't know what rock you have been living under, but you should... It's probably not very safe. It probably doesn't make a great shelter either. You should get out from that rock. Uh, it's coming June 20th, and uh, you get all of the previous DLC that was released for free. So that is cool. Well, thank you for joining us for our E3 special. That is the show. I hope we never have to do another one this long until next E3. Join us next week when, next week when we viciously insult an axolotl. The fuck is an axolotl? You don't know what an axolotl is? No. What are you some kind of fucking cut that doesn't know what an axolotl is?